Welcome. What I want to do is uh, show you, um, not sh well show you, and talk to you about what exactly is a reciprocal of a number. So I'm going to state any real number here, a non-zero number, and let's give it the form of a over b. All right. So it's going to be a fraction, the fractions that we all hate, right? So when we're talking about the reciprocal of a number, um, a lot of students, you know, remember reciprocal, or maybe they don't remember because they don't really have a good idea of what exactly it is. But they just remember the reciprocal of, oh yeah, you flip it, and, and that's a very good way to get started with what a reciprocal is. So you could say the reciprocal of a over b is b over a, and that is true. Um, but why is it true? You know, why why is that the reciprocal, and how can we find the reciprocal if it's not in a fraction, right? Well. First of all, the reciprocal of its number is its multiplicative inverse. And you're like, what? Did... If you didn't already watch what multiplicative inverses were, make sure you go and watch that. But I'll go and quickly explain it right here anyways. Um, the multiplicative inverse means that if I multiply two numbers, I'm going to get one. So when you multiply a number times its reciprocal, you should always get one. So a lot of, it's not always the inverse, but it's your multiplicative inverse is going to be your reciprocal. So let's take a look at that just with these arbitrary numbers and see if a times b times b times a are equivalent to each other. Or I'm sorry, multiply to give us one. So a times b is just going to be ab. b times a is b over a equals one. Now, we can rewrite this so they're the same form by using uh, my commutative property. So I can have a times b divided by a times b equals 1. Well, since I'm dividing the same number, right? I don't Even though I don't know what a times b is, since I'm dividing the same number by itself, of course it's going to equal 1. So that's kind of your basic understanding of reciprocal. It's just your multiplicative inverse. But what happens if I have a over b, what's going to happen now if I have just the number like 5. What is going to be a reciprocal of 5? Well, we need to look at the multiplicative inverse. So if it's 5, the reciprocal is going to be 1 fifth. If I have 1 third, and these are the exact same examples I gave in uh, multiplicative inverse, if I have 1 third, the reciprocal is just going to be is 3. So that's a horrible less, but kind of didn't really make it any better. So anyways, that's a nice little quick little video on reciprocals.